Finally, we are going to compare different kind of optical technology, step index, graded reflective index, and single mode fiber together with coaxial cable technology. So this is a rather complicated chart for all sorts of technology. What is important, first of all, is that we have the x-axis being the parameter B, the bandwidth measured in megabits per second. Over here, it would be 10,000 megabits per second or 10 gigabits per second. On the other hand, it's 0.1 megabits per second or 100 kilobits per second. Now, this is a logarithmic scale from 0.1 to 1, 10, 100, 1,000, and 10,000. On the y-axis is the parameter L, the distance measure in kilometer. Again, it goes from 1 kilometer, 10 kilometer, 100 kilometer to 1,000 kilometer. Again, this is a logarithmic scale. So, the job we have to do is to choose a specific kind of technology, whether it's coaxial cable technology or single mode fiber or multi-mode fiber, fiber for different kind of applications. Now, what you have here is that you see a lot of these are straight lines. And let me just point out the technology. First, we have step index fiber, multi-mode step index fiber. And the other curve we have is coaxial cable, which we have not gone through in detail, the BL product calculation. We have graded reflective index fiber. Again, this is a 45 degree slope compared to this is also a 45 degree slope. And also we have, in this case here, three separate curves. The first one being 1.3 micron at 0.4 dB per kilometer attenuation. Again, you have a 45 degree here whereby the 1.3 micron single mole fiber will have a BL product of 250 gigabits per second kilometer. So this step here, this 45 degree lines, is due to the BL product. This is being 250 gigabits per second kilometer. This is due to the 4 gigabits per second kilometer. And this is due to the 10 megabits per second kilometer BL product limitation. Now, this explains this, these uh, lines part here. Now, let's have a look at the other part, which is more horizontal than these 45 degree lines because of the BL product being a uh, constant. Now, these are because of attenuation. In the first curve here, this horizontal, pretty flat curve is for the 1.3 micron fiber and the top one is for the 1.5 micron fiber and the, another one is for in this case here uh, the 0.85 uh, micron fiber where you have a loss of 2.5 dB per kilometer so this is actually the 0.85 micron correspond to the green uh, fiber now all of that have a slight dip and this is due to attenuation of 2.5 dB per kilometer, so you can't really go much longer than 100 meter because of the huge loss per kilometer. Whereas for the single mole fiber, uh, what we have here is that the losses are a lot smaller, 0.25 dB per kilometer over the 1.55 micron. So this is uh, due to attenuation from the earlier derivation that we had before. Attenuation whereas this correspond to dispersion, dispersion, and dispersion. And this one, which is at an intermediate slope compared to the BL product, uh, and also the attenuation slope is because of the coaxial fiber. So you can take this curve and choose your distance and your bandwidth, and then you look at uh, whether you can achieve that is on the inside of the particular curve for the technology. So this last slide put in a table form a comparison of different technology, multi-mode technology, single mode technology, coaxial cable, and I added to it digital subscriber loop, which is basically 
what your telephone company offered to you using a twisted pair of wire uh, to communicate data to you. Digital subscriber loop. WiMAX is 4G as well as 3G wireless communication. And on this axis, we look at the distance that these technology can do and the bit rate they can do respectively for the different technology, the disadvantage of the technology as well as the advantage of the technology. For multi-mode, really, you don't want to go much longer than one kilometer for a data rate that is much bigger than 100 megabits per second, and therefore the disadvantage is very low uh, BL product, but on the other hand, it's much cheaper than single mode fiber because you only need to use LED and the receiver design is much simpler. For single mode fiber, the distance can be greater than 100 km and the data rate can be as high as a gigabit per second and the disadvantage you have to use laser and you also, compared to copper wires, you need to do rewiring uh, of, with optical cable rather than with a twisted pair. And the advantage, of course, is a very high bandwidth uh, distance product. Coaxial cable actually is somewhere in between multi-mode and single mode for which you can go a longer distance of 10 km, but the data rate is less than 1 gigabit per second. It's largely a shared bandwidth, which is a disadvantage if your neighbor happened to be upstream from you, and using more bandwidth, you may be staff of bandwidth. And the advantage is it's a broadcasting medium and it's a lot easier to wire with coaxial cable. DSL using a twisted pair, the distance travel is way smaller than single mode fiber at 5 km, 16 megabits per second. And you have a small BL product, you also need switching, but the huge advantage is that you don't need rewiring. Whereas for wireless, obviously, it's no wiring at all but there's a huge power distortion problem and also the distance as well as the data rate tend to be smaller.